Lots of questions in the comments revolve around what a lock would entail for a folding pocket knife. So in this video I'm going to talk about this knife here and whether this has a locking mechanism on it. Now just to be clear this is not a sponsored video in any shape or form, although I would welcome sponsorships if there's any knife manufacturers or retailers watching. This knife here, although this doesn't come within the folding pocket knife exemption in any way because the blade is longer than three inches. However in this video, for the purposes of this video, what I'm talking about is the locking mechanism. Now when this knife folds down it's obviously quite neat and tidy. There is a thumb lever just here which allows you to use your thumb to open this knife very easily and can flick open thusly. But the point of this knife is if you look very closely at the metal mechanism on the inside of the knife here, this part will flip up and prevent the knife from closing unless you apply some force to this area here. So you can see here this cannot close until this comes down and allows it to close. So you need to use your thumb or finger, usually your thumb, to maneuver this down so that you can then close the knife. Otherwise it remains in a locked position. So this cannot close unless there is a thumb press of this lever here which allows you to fold in the blade back into its holstered position. So now if I were to open this blade it cannot close without first pressing this which allows the blade to fold in. This is just one method of a locking knife which would prevent it from being a folding pocket knife within the exemption in section 139 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. But in any event the blade is longer than three inches so it wouldn't qualify anyway. But I thought this video would be helpful to show you just one method of a locking blade that would prevent it from being a folding pocket knife. I hope that was useful.